Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna show you what it's like to stay in a hotel made out of actual snow. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to stay in a real life igloo? In this video, we head to the Swiss mountains to find out if it's really that enjoyable to stay somewhere so cold and how practical it really is. Today we are living out one of my childhood dreams of <laughs> staying in an igloo. The whole experience actually starts with the beginning of the journey to get here. You have to come to Zermatt to get the train up to the igloo and Zermatt is a car free zone so you actually have to drive to a place called Tash which is a gorgeous drive through the mountains and leave the van there right next to the train station. Then you know you're in for a treat because the train all the way up to Zermatt is spectacular and the next step for us now is to get another train up the mountain ready to start the whole experience. It leaves in 10 minutes, there's no one else here. I wonder how busy it'll be. I know, because everyone's coming back down after a day of skiing. Like the town's getting quite busy now, but we're going the opposite direction and going up the mountain at this time. My goodness <laughs> we are literally in the mountains like we couldn't be more in the mountains right now and although it's clouded over you can see the Matterhorn's right there the top's just a little bit covered in cloud here's where we met our guide who gave us a little bit of information before leading us down the very snowy mountainside for around 15 minutes we've got our first glimpse of the hotel and it really is made out of actual snow. How are you doing with the walk, Em? It's quite steep. I, I mean, it's fun. I feel like I'm just sinking into the snow with every step. Just keep holding on to me. It just adds to the experience, though. The fact that you have to actually like trek through all the snow to get to the hotel made of snow. <laughs> Storm rolling in. Oh. We're so close to it so far. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the worst part is over. What a champ Emma is. <laughs> Pregnant and just traversing down a mountain. <laughs> I feel like a kid at Christmas though, this is so exciting. I have been told that coming here is fine, I just can't do any strenuous activities. This is probably my limit of strenuous activities. Once I get in there, I'm not going to be leaving until we leave. <laughs> When you arrive, you get a welcome drink at the bar, either a glue wine or I've gone for a tea, so you can warm up after being out and traipsing around in the snow. This is absolutely wild. Look at this place. Before we get given our room, we're actually allowed to go in and have a little peek at all the rooms. The wow factor as you walk in is something like I've never seen before. This is now officially the coolest thing we've ever done on this channel. I've said that a lot in the last year, but we've got to do a lot of awesome things and this is the creme de la creme. Look at that, with the wolf. The artwork is amazing everywhere. They've got sculptures made out of snow in every room and in the main area there. They've got international artists to come in every year to decorate it differently. Wow. <laughs> But there's a load of different styles of rooms. You have like couples, families. I'm guessing this is like a group room. Yeah, How this cool is really cool. Is I think this is the orgy room, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get out quick before we're invited. I booked us in for this room. <laughs> <laughs> it was the cheapest room. Okay, this is the room for me. Wow. They have mushrooms carved into the walls. I'm obsessed with mushrooms for anyone who doesn't realize. If you follow us on Instagram, you will know that whenever we go for any forest walks, I am completely spamming our stories with mushrooms. You're a fungi fanatic. I am a fungi fanatic. And I can confirm that this is actually made out of snow <laughs> and the self-destructive terrible part of me, the same part when I go into a bakery, I want to put my finger in the cakes. <laughs> I want to scratch the walls. <laughs> One thing I'm noticing is like how soundproof the rooms are. What are you thinking about getting up to? <laughs> Making another one of these? <laughs> you can't do it twice. 
That's not my parents' job anyway. <laughs> So this is the dining area where we will be eating cheese to our hearts, content later with a lovely fondue. And here's our table at the back here. What I want to know is why we have a white tablecloth and loads of rose petals and a candle. Well, why is it so you. romantic? I'll tell you when we get to the room. <laughs> it's now time to go and check in to our igloo. And <laughs> Emma doesn't know this, but I have a couple of surprises for her in the igloo. So the rooms that we've already gone to go and see are the smaller ones. Emma knows that we were coming to the igloo but she doesn't know that I actually splashed out on a couple of different things. So this is us here. What? Um, have you booked us a private igloo? So this is the igloo suite. What? <laughs> it looks huge from the outside. We're going in. Is this whole thing ours? The whole thing is ours. We have a toilet. Well, I, I don't have to traipse out to go and use that one. I thought you might want a private toilet. Oh, it's like the one we have in the van, but like bigger. Yeah, a little compost. Oh, wow. Nice. I'm wait till you see the room. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? This is where we live. And as the old romantic that I am, I have asked for some petals and a frozen rose. It's like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Aww, that's so lovely. And I didn't even ask for the birds, they were just for me. <laughs> wow, I didn't actually realise it's the whole wingspan. Yeah, of the owl. It's the whole wow. Worm. It comes all the way to where we come in. Oh man, we've even got steps. Steps up. We're elevated. Oh my goodness. So how it works, because obviously it's extremely cold, how you stay warm is that these sleeping bags are designed for up to minus 40. So they've told us don't wear basically any clothes because you're gonna get too hot in them. This is, it's a double sleeping bag. They're zipped together, that's so cute. <laughs> they also told us to put our clothes at the bottom of our sleeping bag just so that they'll be warm in the morning. Yeah. And the other tip was to make sure that your shoes are sideways and not up, but because of our breath, it gets wet in the air, and then in turn, your shoes can freeze inside. So if you put them to the side, they won't freeze. There's even USB charging in no, here. No, that's wild. In the snow. <laughs> Look at you with the rose petals and the champagne and stuff. Sausage boy did good. <laughs> I didn't realize you were such a romantic. And then the really big surprise what? There's is more. if you come over here to the third room of the igloo, past the toilet. No. Alan, what have you done? Is this our own jacuzzi? It's our own private whirlpool. And I don't know if it's been too dark, but if you open those doors, I believe there's a view of the Matterhorn. What? Oh, like, okay, it's a very dark view, but I can see the outline of the Matterhorn right there. We'll be able to see that in the morning. Yep. <laughs> we are only going to be the two of us for not that much longer now. Aww. So I thought, what a nice way for us to end our relationship. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and for me to become the second love in your life. <laughs> yeah, have a look in here. What? So this is our own private like heating changing room. It's got a heater. Yeah. A hair dryer. So if we get cold in the night. Dressing gowns. We can just sit in here. I definitely feel out of place being two hippies that live in a van. <laughs> Especially as we have the nicest place here. That we paid for, we haven't been gifted this. Unfortunately, I have nothing on it either. It's just this good. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been happy with any of the rooms because they're all spectacular. So are you saying I overspent? But <laughs> the fact that we have our own toilet and our own private jacuzzi. Because they were saying earlier there is a jacuzzi for everyone else to use but you have to book a slot. Yeah but that's for the plebs. <laughs> we're usually the plebs. As well as a private jacuzzi they have a private sauna and you just book your time. So at 9.30 tonight 
we have access to a private snorner. Nice. Unfortunately, I be doing that. she can't do it, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving the bird theme as well. Feathers everywhere. I think they said there's only two or three artists that do the whole place and it takes them about two weeks and they do all of the rooms, all of the communal areas and everything. And then every year they knock it all down and they rebuild it again. And I think they have six locations in different countries around Europe. Now we're all checked in. I think it's time to go and stuff our faces and drink lots of mulled wine. Well, Alex drink lots of mulled wine and just start to really enjoy our evening here. dinner time we've had a little starter and <laughs> well, um, there's nothing really left of that <laughs> <laughs> and uh, funnily enough with our package we've got another bottle of alcohol so in the room we've got champagne we now have wine from the highest vineyard in Europe yeah which is pretty cool and uh, ridiculously tasty I am absolutely in my element right now not only Am I in an igloo, a real life igloo made of snow? But I have a big old pot of bubbling hot cheese in front of me. So over here we have just a big bag of bread. A stick. <laughs> to dip it in. We have been holding off on having fondue this whole trip because we knew that we'd probably be having fondue tonight. I guarantee this is gonna be like when you have a pizza and you don't wanna wait and you're just gonna burn the roof of your mouth. That is a cheesy is dance. <laughs> bloody delicious. I loved fondue for about four bites. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ten bites maybe for me, but I feel like ten bites is my limit. Like, There's only so much cheese that you can eat. A never-ending amount of cheese. It's and very. There's much. not much to uh, to change the taste of having no. cheese in your mouth. Yeah. There definitely is a joke about cheese in the mouth, but. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> oh my god, you're gross. I didn't even make the joke. You basically did. Don't blame me, blame the wine. I'm gonna have one more bite. <laughs> After dinner, we decided to go warm up in one of the communal areas, known as the Cotter, a cosy wooden building with a bar and a fireplace. So this is the warm room which I think also can be used as a drying room because there's lots of very wet looking boots and things in here that people have left. And a changing room. Yeah, and a changing room. There's a shower through there as well. So the sauna is just outside, so you've got to strip off, brave the cold to get to the sauna. I can't tell if it's weird that the peace basher guy over there can watch me enjoy this little hobbit hole of a sauna. I mean, it's kind of like a little show. I find it really interesting. Look at him go. Yes, lad. You bash that peace. Cold now. Oh, it's cold now. It's cold. It's time we need to warm up. I feel like I'm in a religious cult. <laughs> you look a bit like it. Oh, it's so stinky from the cold. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, and oh, no. <laughs> this possibly could be the best feeling in the world. I know what you're thinking the best feeling in the world is. It's when you hold your pee for a really long time to get for a pee. <laughs> it's almost as good as that. <laughs> now, are you thinking, Alex, you're doing sex wrong? Well, you're not holding your pee long enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the things you come out with. Especially after a couple of wines. <laughs> after a few of those. <laughs> Just a quick disclaimer 
the temperature of this hot tub is under the regulation for pregnant women because I know what you guys are like. And I just want you to know, we're safe, the baby's safe, everything we're doing is safe. And I'm sitting on a shelf which only my butt and legs are in the water right now. <laughs> yeah, but they can't see that because if you see that, you see everything. I know the hot tub is here to be enjoyed. I'm feeling really guilty because there's so much steam produced from the jets and the whole place is very very steamy now so I've opened the door the leaf over there is melting <laughs> but they must have thought this through right because otherwise you wouldn't put this in in the igloo <laughs> but I don't want to be project managing right now I don't want to melt this place down to the ground but that's what it feels like is gonna happen look how steamy it is <laughs> it does seem counterintuitive I was a little bit concerned initially that I wouldn't be able to sleep in here because I hate the cold so much but I'm already starting to get warm being in here and I've only been in for like a minute. I feel like Hugh Hefner as I'm laying down <laughs> here but as the king of birds or king of bird lovers there the king go. of bird lovers <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that that is <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Why is it so menacing? Why it's couldn't it have a little smile? Looking down at us, it doesn't help that he's got orange eyes. I feel like orange or red are like kind of creepy in the in the eye <laughs> realm. I mean, it's one of the coolest pieces of art I've ever seen. But yeah. look at it. That is, I'm just gonna wake up and look at that. <laughs> and if we were to do anything, it'd be watching at all times. I feel like a little cocoon. Like a maggot. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. oh, wow. You know that feeling when you're in bed in the winter and you're warm inside the bed and you can feel a little bit cold outside the bed so you just want to stay in there? Yeah. That's this times ten. <laughs> yeah, but you know you absolutely cannot stay in bed. I need to pee so bad. <laughs> I refused all night <laughs> to get out and pee. <laughs> so I slept quite uncomfortably. But I'm still right now crossing my legs. As soon as I finish talking to you guys, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I love that even now you're putting off going to pee <laughs> and getting out of bed by talking to these guys. You could have done it first. Absolutely not. I had visions last night, as obviously I was drinking a bit of wine, that I would just want to pee wherever, and I had this idea that they'd come to, when we go to check out, they'd come into here, and it would just be like a massacre, and there's just <laughs> yellow snow <laughs> everywhere, and I've ruined the whole place. <laughs> I have to say though, like considering we're in a igloo, <laughs> I slept okay. It was very much like, camping sleeping you know where you wake up a lot because it is cold and not as comfortable as when you're at home and or in a hotel or something like that but it's worth it for the experience i feel like one night is definitely enough yeah <laughs> this is so awkward yeah uh, you're gonna have to get up to actually there you go oh. my nipples are like rocks <laughs> my nipples are like cocks they were erect as well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How have I never heard that before? Yeah. My nipples are like cocks. Let's so start that. that. My nipples are like cocks. Please, someone out there, start <laughs> using it. <laughs> oh my. Have you ever seen such a view? It is the Matterhorn, and it's there, next to the bath. Okay, it's really impractical because it's so cold. <laughs> it's just so much cold air coming. But still, I've got to do it for the gram, right? I tried to put some chapstick on, but it's frozen. <laughs> so I'm hoping the water will defrost it. <laughs> Ah, oh, igloo life. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs>
Are you drying your hair? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm toasting my pants. <laughs> oh, it works everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it is now time to check out of our amazing igloo. Oh my goodness. What an experience that was. You do have to check out very early, so you can only get here at 4.30 and you have to leave at 8. Yeah. But... That would be actually probably one of my only complaints, is that if you could check out just an hour later, you could really enjoy the jacuzzi with the view of the Matterhorn. Because the sun only rose about half an hour ago and uh, we've only just been able to see it. Yeah. So it seems a shame to go to all this effort to build an amazing place with an, an amazing, amazing view, view, but you don't get that much time to enjoy it. Yeah, but other than that, the experience was just outrageous. I think what makes it so special is that this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity for us it's not yeah. something we get to do all the time no but wow <laughs> it just it makes it all the more special if it was something you could do all the time it wouldn't be so special right let us know down in the comments would you do this and what is the coolest accommodation you've ever stayed in don't forget to hit that big fat like button and subscribe for future content and nothing left to say <laughs> thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time and in front of an igloo beans out